All right, my boys, we're finally gonna be getting in here to talk about your boy Shark. We just got a new card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links card, the Abyss Dweller. It is a really good Xyz rank four monster, and we're gonna be getting right in there to talk about that beast and play with the new Shark rank four deck, my boy. Don't wanna miss it. Stay tuned. YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by These Dank Duelists. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. All right, my boys, we're just taking a look here at Territory of the Sharks. Now, I'm using the new card, Abyss Dweller, because this card is just really, really good. It's a rank four monster that pretty much says you can detach one of the Xyz materials from it to make your opponent's graveyard null and void. They cannot use effects that activate in the graveyard but they can use effects that will banish things from the graveyard you get so you got to be careful about that and careful about that distinction but what makes abyss dweller so good is that territory of the sharks can turn your atlantean heavy infantries into level fours which allows you to rank up to your abyss dweller which basically gives the abyss dweller the ability to destroy one card and prevent your opponent from using the grave which could be devastating against certain decks in the meta right now. And also we're using Gradle Impact, which is definitely a card that requires a bit of nuance if you're not used to this card. But basically you use Gradle Impact to search your deck for Gradle Slime Jr. And you use Gradle Slime Jr. with your Territory of the Shark skill to hit Gradle Dragon to destroy two cards your opponent controls. Now what's also interesting is that Gradle Impact can be used um, by searching a, the other Gradle Impact spells from your deck, and you can use the Gradle, Gradle Impact spells to destroy one another, to destroy one card your opponent controls, or one Gradle Slime. And I honestly, I didn't use that effect a lot, but sometimes the effect does come through, and it becomes, uh, it, it can become a, a huge advantage, but also can become a huge hindrance in early game uh, if you draw too many of these cards. Now, also, I'm using the uh, Silent Angler and along with the Atlantean or the Mermail Abyssius. And honestly, the Mermail Abyssius is just to extend for one more special summon from the hand. Um, and also it's a 1700 beater. A lot of times you can summon something like Gradle Dragon or summon something like Hope Woven uh, Spider Shark and that'll be it for you. Or you can summon, you know, uh, well, if you summon Abyss, uh, Abyss Dweller, with this that's also game but a lot of times you can just summon one solitary extra deck monster so this just allows you to push for game um but everything else within the deck just facilitates or assists either summoning a rank four or summoning out the gradle dragon we're also running on the side for times where you don't have territory of the sharks to summon out your um ice barrier dragons pretty much Brionic can be summoned pretty much with any level two and any level four, as you know, but we can also go into the level seven by using, uh, typically it's the three, the two, and another tuner. Um, so normally that's gonna be Deep Sea Diva, uh, Heavy Infantry, and Marksman, but it doesn't happen like that all the time. Now, honestly, what are some good substitutes you can use? I mean, you could use be tuneful princess in place of uh, abyssius so that you can search your uh so you can have easier ways to summon out gradle jr but i like using abyssius because gradle jr can be discarded by abyssius's effect and then you can summon a gradle pick up a gradle and then pop the skill and then synchro with the abyssius and then you'll just have this on the field as a level four but um, that's pretty much it, my boys. I really hope that you enjoy this video and enjoy this deck list. There's definitely some more work to be done here in terms of like defensive cards, but, um, you know, that's, uh, duels for another day, my boy. So I appreciate y'all for watching. And as always, keep it dank. Advertising on YouTube is completely oversaturated, my boy. You already know what I'm talking about them Raycon Shadow Legends. And at the end of the day, you did not click on a free YouTube video to pay over $100 in earbud accessories. So let me put you up on game on the JLab Go Air True Wireless Signature Earbuds. 
I've been using these earbuds for over a year and the quality has been phenomenal. You can pick up these quality earbuds for as low as $25, my boys. So check the link in the description to never miss. All right, we're gonna hit this abyss dweller. We're gonna search for the Gradle. And then hopefully Abyss Dweller and Gradle will be enough for game. I'm gonna hope this is enough. He gets to put anything in the grave. You need anything. I'll put put alternative out and have more than just that as an option. We're screwed. But Abyss Dweller does typically work well on its own. But against blue eyes, it, it, sometimes it can be questionable. But it can stop like stones and stuff, which is which is fine. Which okay, which definitely we're gonna do. If he puts any monster on the board, we can kill his monster, but you know, that's kind of what we're waiting for. For him to put something on the board. But a stone in the grave is not a big deal. Because we can negate the stone. I'll oh, see. Yeah, so here's the sage. Sage is going to search. Let me just read this card. It says, you can discard this card and target an effect monster and send it to the graveyard. And if you do, so some of the blue eyes. Yeah. So he's got to, like, he can send it to the grave, but that's not really going to do him any good if he has that. But he might not even have that, so we'll see what he does. Yep, didn't have it. Yep, set two, didn't have it. Set three, didn't have it. Uh, end of main phase, it is the end phase. Activate, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop your monster. All right, draw. gonna try to give him the cradle impact uh, or the impact of a lifetime <laughs> but we'll see what happens uh, gonna normal summon the shark got like karma cut or something back there karma cut or geki break something we're gonna special summon the Gradle Jr. All right. Let's see what else he has. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, territory of the sharks. I'm going to hit Super big, insane, giant, Gradle man. Gradle dragon. All right, Gradle dragon activates the effect. Destroying two cards. All right, what cards did we select? Karma cut, which, yeah, kind of inevitable. Uh, then activate. Chain, no graveyard effects. Enemy controller, it's fine. Change me to defense mode, avoid some damage. I'm gonna take advantage. Use the impact to destroy this card. I'm going to use Gradle Dragon to special summon back from the graveyard. I'm going to special summon the Silent Angler. Then I'm going to hit it with Hope Woven Spider. Yes. Let me check this graveyard. Yeah, take your 26, loser. All right, so he's top decking brick GG ultimate dragon. He's playing. He literally only has two 
blue eyes in his hand. He literally only had two blue eyes in his hand. He literally only had two. <laughs> he literally only had two blue eyes. He didn't have it. He top decked into the blue eyes. <laughs> he top decked the blue eyes. <laughs> Into the second for ultimate dragons. Kiss my ass. Oh my god. Kiss my whole ass hole. Oh my god. <laughs> you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> he literally drew. Wow. 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 And his life points is just high enough that I can't kill him. God, that is irritating. That is irritating as fuck. That is irritating as hell! I can't believe that. <laughs> His life points is just high enough that I can't kill him. I can only deal 600 damage. Oh my god, this is so booty. <laughs> so whack. I cannot believe he top decks and he ultimate dragons. I can't believe it. If he's got alternative, I'll I'll lose it. He'll I'm like I'm like you're the fucking best, bro. If I was about to say like there's no fucking way. Let's we'll say there's no fucking way. But there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Godly. I just. I, ca I cannot, bro. Damn it. Shit is insane. Shit is insane. Oh, but we got him anyway, though. But it's insane. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Oh wait, no. <laughs> we don't got him. <laughs> oh no, we do got him. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I was like, oh wait, no, we don't got him. <laughs> we did got him. I was absolutely, I had a brain fart for a second. <laughs> It was so stupid. That shit was so stupid. All right, let me see if I can get one more. I don't want this video to be too long. I'm trying out a different style of format, so you can let me know if you like this format as well. The last one I did was like 40 minutes, and I don't know if people really liked that or cared for that, honestly. Um. Gotta go straight out the gate into the Abyss Dweller. Like, Deep Sea Diva for Atlantean Heavy Infantry, pop skill into Abyss Dweller is just, like, too good. Like, honestly, it makes me want to run more Angler. Like, I want to play more Angler in the deck because Deep Sea Diva with Angler uh is four monsters so that's it there's two exceeds so that's pretty good depending on the two exceeds you bring out hmm on site actually on fucking site i am not letting you do anything on site put him in the graveyard stop everything Draw. That's what I'm talking about. Abyss Dweller, man. So good. Uh. Yeah. I mean, stay stay plusing up. Honestly. Uh. You know, summon Deep Sea Diva. I'm gonna keep pulling stuff from the deck as much as I can. If I can help it. Deep Sea Diva. I'm gonna pop the skill. Hope over time, baby. 
Hope woven. And it should be a GG. Twenty two of those things. Nani. Karibo. Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, my boy. Karibo King. Wow, two Karibo. Oh my God. Now I'll be disgusted. I will be enraged if the card that he has is a Levionaire. Cause he literally just discarded two dark monsters and he has a light in there. I will be disgusted if he has a Levionaire in his hand. The betrayal, dog. <laughs> the betrayal. I cannot believe this man has a Levionaire just chilling like that. I just cannot believe it. I cannot believe he just had a fucking Levionaire, bro. What? And a DD Crow! What? I can't believe it! No way. No way, no way, <laughs> no way, <laughs> no way. All right, draw. Wow, no fucking way, bro. No fucking way. No way. No way. I almost don't even believe it, bro. Like, who who has a hand like that? Is this first? It's your first go. Like, dude didn't shuffle nothing, didn't didn't draw nothing extra. Just first go was like, fuck you. I have the nuts. Hope woven, bro. Take a six hundred, bro. Like he literally ended off with everything. Like he ended off with every fucking thing. I'm gonna take this great little impact because I'm gonna try to kill him next turn. He's got, like, he can't have everything. He's gotta burn out at some point. He's only got two cards left in his hand. Come on, man. There's no way. There's no way. That's right. There's no fucking way. You're not that lucky, man. You're not a god, man. You're not a god. God, you must die. You are not a god. You are not a god. You must go, my boy. You, you must go. This is it for you. You must. You must go. <laughs> go. Get out of here. Be gone. Until they're down. Tell me cause I'm looking out for you